jungle. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Quinn Goss, with the Life Journey Podcast. Yeah, y'all already know what we do on this podcast. We keep it real, we keep it raw, what we talk about, talk about our guest's life journey. We have a special guest on today, A. Westbrook. What's going on, brother? What's going on, brother? How's everything? Doing well, doing well, man. Can't complain. Yeah, man, I'm cool. I'm cool, man. I'm just in California, you know. I was up chasing the market, you know, handling some business. Mm -hmm. I'm on social media. Glad we got the time to chop it up, man. Same here, same here. Hey, so, so me and we connected. Uh, we well, we went to high school together, and um, we had a chance. We haven't spoken in a like a while, but uh, we connected like a week ago. And um, yeah, I saw like man, this dude's crushing it. Uh, he moved out to Cali, doing his thing. I guess Aaron, like, let's kind of start like from the from the beginning of you like growing up. Like, what was your childhood like? Let the people know like. Yeah, like um, growing up with your parents and stuff. Yeah, you know, appreciate that. Uh, realistically, man, I'm gonna give you the long story short. You know, I grew up, parents weren't ever really married. You know, they were both in my life though. I had a regular childhood. I wouldn't say it was anything crazy. We grew up small city rochester new york you know where that is all of our listeners rock city listen you know that's upstate new york so it is what it is you know one key thing about my journey is that growing up i always knew i was going to be doing bigger better things so i always had a, a lot of ambition i always had a drive that was laser focused and I was I always wanted to push myself forward. I was doing well in school. I was always getting good grades. Even though I would get kicked out of class in time for being outspoken, you know, uh I was always getting attention and graduated from school man and having a private school education was definitely a blessing throughout my life. We're talking elementary, middle school, up to high school, having that foundation was good because I was able to connect with people from all different walks of life and also focus on faith. So that gave me the strength and confidence to go after my dreams, you know? So I went into college at the University of Buffalo, learned a lot, networked a lot. Started working in sales. Graduated with my bachelor's degree in communication and decided like, man, you know, as much as I love my home city, as much as I love Rochester, as much as, as, as lit as New York is, you know, you know, I, I gotta go expand my horizons. You know, I gotta see what else is out here. So at the time, I'm about 21 after graduating college I had worked a whole lot of different jobs man I worked at Frontier Field in Rochester which is where the Red Wings play I was like my first job there you know this is back in the, I'm trying to walk you through it I was getting paid like seven twenty five, you know seven dollars 25 cents to do the craziest dirty work like garbage bags and sweeping and just cooking and cleaning you know and really grinding and you know I, I went I went from job after job from, from high school to through college, really just trying to stack money. That was kind of one of my, my main focuses because I was growing up where my parents didn't have too much, you know, and I knew that we wanted, to, I wanted to break the cycle, you know, so that was, that was what I was doing. I went from Frontier Hill to like Seabreeze, man. I was working at Seabreeze, which is an amusement park over there. I was working in the concession stands there. I was working at Wendy's at a time, you know, mm -hmm. and I was working at a sunglass hut inside of a Macy's, you know, and I was just taking job after job, realistically, you know, and going from one dollar to two dollar raises, thinking this is the way. I remember my first high paying job I thought I got. I was doing SEO work for some companies, doing mm -hmm. digital marketing for them, someplace on East Ave. It's called Hub Shout, and 
What year was this? This was 2013. Summer after graduating college, so that was like my first job that I landed with my degree. I thought I was popping. I thought I was like, y'all, pay twelve fifty an hour plus like these little commissions. I was man, I was I was cool. I was excited at the time because I had never gotten paid more than twelve fifty an hour. It was unheard of. You know, just just where I'm coming from and with, with, with what I had been exposed to at the time, I was I was excited about that. It didn't last very long though. That job was only there for three months and um because i just naturally found myself wanting to work on myself more than anybody else so what happened was i had met a woman i had met a girl at the time and we had a really good relationship so we decided to pretty much move to Florida, right? So I'm catching you back up to speed. This is after all these jobs and all my trials and tribulations. We decided to boom, we're gonna go to Florida. And now I'm, I'm 21. I got Shorty with me. So we packed up our bags and we just drove straight down to the Florida, man, through every state and unpacked. And I started selling time share vacations. I started selling homes. I started selling real estate because at that time, the Florida market was popping. You know, homes there were selling fast. People were moving. And I knew that real estate was one of the quickest ways and one of the most sure ways, one of the best vehicles to accumulate wealth. So, you know, What's financial up? freedom. So pause real quick. Like, you, yo, this whole, so up to this point, what are you talking about? Yo, right now, you're, you've been through multiple jobs. But you got mm -hmm. different experiences out of those jobs too. So you right. were just like, oh, I'm just working here. But you like really took what you learned in each job and like, like now you're applying all of these skills. Like that's that's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. I'm you, but I just think that's pretty awesome for people listening. Like they think, oh well, I was hopping this job and that's it. And I think I'm working for 30 years. Nah, like you bounced and like got so many skill sets. It's crazy. That's what's up. Which I man, each job was a learning experience. I'm grateful for every job I took, you know, and I'll be honest with you too. I was fired from jobs, you know. So if, if anyone listening has ever been in that situation, it's okay, you know. I'm a great worker, you know, it's just certain things don't always line up. So I've been fired from jobs, not for doing anything unethical or wrong, but really for the things that I were fired I was fired for were, you know, looking back. Things that I could have controlled better, like my timing, but it was really my commitment. Because <clears throat> if you're committed to something, you're gonna you're gonna make the time for it, and you're gonna be punctual, you're gonna be diligent. So I just wasn't I wasn't really passionate about a lot of the jobs. So I would start off really good, and towards towards you know certain the end of it, I would always get I'd be like, man, I want to do something else. So that was always, I was, that was always my vision. It was like, man, I could go get any job. That's my mentality. I was never stressed or tripping up or about a job. So I would quit a job or I would, I would be let go from a job. And it didn't really matter because I, I have an abundant mindset. So 100% learned a lot from each job. Mm -hmm. And the skills they carry over into, into multiple industries. You learn about communication, you learn about management, you learn about customer service, you learn about sales. I mean, the list goes on. So it, it all adds value. Mm -hmm. I mean, wherever you're at in your life, to, to people listening, you know, I don't know, what's, what's the age of your audience? Audience. 18, 18, 18, 18. Yeah. I'm, sure you got some, I'm sure you got some, you know, some of the students watching you too, so they put a, for the ones who are, you know, getting their first job, second job, third job, just take the job, you know, and don't bitch, don't complain. I never complained about those jobs that I had, you know. I never, I, 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 I wasn't, I mean, I, I wasn't exactly like, yo, this is the best thing ever. But I was, again, I was grateful, you know what I'm saying? Because, too, man, to be 16, 17, 18, 19 and working, it was cool. You know, you don't have many expenses. 
you know, and it gets, it gets you prepared, you know, for more work a lot because that's what life is about, man. It's about work, you know, getting work done, getting things done, and eventually, as you learn, you have to figure out things to get. You figure out ways to get things done smarter, you know, and you know, you don't have to work as hard all the time. Or you could work on things that you care about more, you know. So you got to take those sacrifices at an early age, or just go all in on uh, what it is that you like, you know. So the uh, the keys the keys are in the sauce right there, bro. You know. Yeah. So so all from so from that point on, like now you I know that you were doing some music stuff. So talk a little bit about the music side, and then oh, you know. The music that is uh, the music's cool, man. I've, I've always been into music. You know, that's one of my passions. It's one of my hobbies. It's one of my favorite things. You know, I just love music in general. I believe I have a gift for it. You know, as far as expression, vocals, sounds, melodies. I mean, everything is melodic. You know, me talking to you right now has a a, harm a harmony to it almost. You know, the, the words I'm saying and things like this. So everything is, you know, based on sound. So I'm always interested in, in, and fascinated with music, its impact on the culture, how people listen to it, its role in advertising, its its role in movies. I mean, music is cool, you know? So I'm at a point in life in my, right now where I'm out here in Cali, you know, out here towards LA. And I've learned a lot, bro, I learned a lot about that, the music industry. and. I love it. You know, I'm making a lot of connections and we're going to do the music thing. You know, we're going to do the music thing. We're going to do it right. You know, that's the problem. There's a lot of people, they don't understand what it takes to do the music thing right. Right. You know what I, mean? so, I dabbled it. I dabbled it. I got some clout, you know, but I'm not anything close to like a, a music superstar. Although I know what it takes now more than I ever did. You know, I've got a lot of ends. So now, man, I'm at a point where I have I have put out music, you know, seven independent albums, you know, and I've I've barely done no major promotions. I haven't done any like major deals, or anything like that, you know. And we're focusing on building these businesses right now, man. We're focusing on building these businesses because the music is not going to pay the way I need it to right now. Exactly. Until I'm able to invest into it the right and the way I need to. So we're getting these bags. These other ways we're building these businesses, you know, in the next two, three, maybe five years. That's when we're gonna really hit the music game. You know, we're gonna come into the game with a big bag, type of real. You know, because again, bro, the music music is a business. You know, so it's like, yeah. you know, I, I had to make that decision quick. You know, I had to be like, all right, am I gonna go all in on the music? You know, or am I gonna focus on personal brands, other businesses, other endeavors? You know, and it's honestly, it's honestly something I know I'll do. But I got that. I got the music to the side right now because I already know I can do it. That's the thing. My even right. my grandmother told me that like I, I'm, that talent's never gonna go nowhere. I, I already know I make music, so I want to see what else I can do. I want to see what else I can create while still doing music. You know what I'm saying? And then boom, when I, when I when I believe it's time to to get the music to the point where I, I'm ready to push it, push it, push it, push it for real, for real. It's gonna be it's gonna be out there. So yeah. And here's a, here's another key thing too. On on God. I've been able to do music. Stop music, get more attention now. So now I'm in a position where I have more people listening to me than ever. So I gotta be mindful even more than what I'm saying in my music. So that's another thing I'm also conscious of so i've been sitting back on that thinking about, all right what's my message going to be you feel I see. me so that's that's the whole perspective on the music game right now but dog music is was powerful it's powerful right. okay. i like it i like it and so so from so from working with, you know go the high school currently to going to use a lot of music game bro to getting yourself, you know, doing music. Uh -huh. Now, how did you get to the point where you are now where, you, you know, you're, how did you get to, you know, you're into marketing now, you're doing, you know, you're doing a lot. Um, 
Now you, you moved out to Cali. Let the people know, like, hey, how did this stuff, how did you even get to this point? And you're breaking up a little bit, by the way. Coming through clear. Coming through clear voice wise, the video's a little the video slow talking. though. All right, let me know if we're good. All right, there we go. There we go. Should be good now. Yeah, so I mean, be honest with you, bro. I always put God first. <clears throat> I always put God first. You know, I really will. I could really honestly say that because I, bro, I was, I've been young and then and talking to God. I remember just creating my first prayer, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's God to continue to guide me, grant me, forgive me, and thank you. Those are my, that, that's, that's the one prayer I made up, you know, when I was probably like, about like 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? And I remember, I remember just knowing at a young age I had, I had a purpose and it was always, mm -hmm. it was always gonna be up to God though. You know what I'm saying? Because I've had I've had moments in my life where God really acted in a certain way, man. So I got to give most of the credit to God. And then you know, it's really just about knowing what I wanted to do. It's about knowing, knowing what I wanted to do, having a vision, and taking action. And yeah, there's been times when it's scary. Yeah, there's been times when it's going left when it should have went right. Yeah, there's been times when you hit dead ends. You know, it's all that and uncertainty and all that, but you, you know what I'm saying? The one thing is, I went after it, man. I went after my goals. I went after it, basically fearlessly resilient. You know, I've, I've had temporary defeat. I've had times where I was humiliated. I've had times where I was alone, standing up for something that I didn't believe, or I got, um, you know, I got lied to or, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've gone through life just like a lot of people, so I've had to learn the life I had to learn the game, you know, and it, it, it's not always, it's not always easy, you know, so right. once you, once you get to a certain point, it's like, man, some people want to quit, you know, and I just decided I'm never going to quit, you know, once you get started, it's addicting, man, because, you know, you start getting these wins, you start getting small, small gains and, and even miniature victories, you know, that's, that's right there enough to push me forward, so. Bro, come on, man. Where I'm from, my situation, mm -hmm. I couldn't, I couldn't see it. I couldn't see that being it, man. I couldn't see that being it. Right. You know, I think everybody, sh I believe everybody should push themselves to be collected, to, to test themselves. How strong can you get? How powerful can you get? How rich can you get? How, how successful can you get? How well known? I mean, that's, that's the beautiful thing about life right now. So I'm always just looking to see like, okay, How's God gonna use me today to do larger than life type of things? You know, what got me here was just my drive, my my focus, my desire for more, man. I've seen so much, you know, possibility. I've seen what's possible on this planet. I've seen people doing things that I would love to do. I see people having things that I would love to have, experiencing things, knowing things. So I'm at a point where I recognize that I take responsibility for me because nobody else is going to put me on, bro. Nobody else is going to take care of our situation except us. You know what I'm saying? So I got to. I got to. If I, if I plan on being a certain type of way, well, I got to do a certain type of things, you know, and that was the key. You know, it's like, well, boom. If you want this, you want that, you want the blah, 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 boom. You, know, you can't stay here. You can't be stagnant. You know, right. you, can't be, you, can't, you can't be in your comfort zone. Exactly. You know, so... It was more, it's, it's about taking those calculated risks. You know, it's about putting yourself out there. It's about trusting the process, you know? And like I said, you're going to go through, you're going to go through ups and downs. You know, people, people only really only post their highlights and their successes and stuff like that, man. But I've had times when I was, I've been down and out too. Like, you know, and I'm not scared to even say that because like people need to know that because you, you might be going through that. You know, but those are the times when you get tested the most. Those are the times when you start, you can become even more creative. Those are the times when you truly develop character. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever, don't ever get discouraged. You know what I'm saying? Because 
it's going to be a lot of times throughout the journey, you know, especially to entrepreneurs, when you might get discouraged, people going to be telling you this, your, your plan's not going to work, you're going to waste money, you're going to lose money. Like, you're going to learn from all of these mistakes, and the key is not to, you know, keep on making these mistakes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm a perfect person, you know? I had to learn and, and fail fast. That's the key, you know, failing fast so that I could learn and can't make adjustments and modify, you know, rather than just being afraid to even take a, take a risk. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to see what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Worst case scenario. I always wait out the waste. Worst case scenario. All right, boom. Okay. What's the best case scenario? All right, boom. And then, and then you, you know, you just evaluate. Navigate from there. No, that makes sense. And like, and I'm glad you said that because a lot of people don't like, a lot of people think it's all, like you said, on Instagram and on Facebook, all these, you know, social media platforms, everything's perfect. Making money, yeah. doing this and that. I think, yeah, like you said, but people should highlight, yo, like when they go through the, the bad times, when they ain't got it. Yeah. And then they show when they got there because it shows you like the, the work that you had to put in to get there. And just by you, like you said, like, yeah, you had embarrassing times. I had embarrassing times. I had times where like most people probably would like, there's people that probably would have went and killed them. Probably would have went and killed themselves because of how embarrassing something was. But you got to keep fighting through the situation. So like, kudos to you for the grind. Like a lot of people that's listening, like, like, well, how do I get there? How do, you know, listen to so many entrepreneurs, but they don't understand like, that grind portion that threshold that like that the hard part and you still you know we still going through it so i'm kudos to you continue but it, it's good to hear that bro it's good to hear that hey bro that's just uh, hey for sure I me mean, yeah that's that's just what it is bro it's all facts you know and i talked to a lot of successful people you know i'm around a lot of people who's very highly successful you know and they all say the same thing. It's, it's everybody at every level. Everybody at every level, you know. And that's the thing, man. You know, real recognize real. You know, it's too much of a there's too much of a thirst for this clout and noise for everybody wants. And I was talking about that yesterday in this valley. You know, so I'm passing the information forward now because it's 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 true. Where you know, you know, you want to just you got to just do you. You know, and I'm at a point where. That's that's kind of what that's been my model my whole life. I really always have kind of just did what I what I intuitively desired. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really follow too many uh, opinions or suggestions that didn't really resonate truly with me. You know, I didn't get off course like that. You know, I, I had to have I had to hold my own a lot of times, bro. You know, just you know, and like that's that's one of the biggest things is. Being able to be strong by yourself, you know, and then being able to be a whole individual and then being able to bring on the right people. Mm. That's, that's, that's been a key thing for me, man. You know, because for me, I'm, I'm, on, some, I'm on some Drake, I'm on some Drake block. Like, that's why I never ask for help. I do it for you and do it for myself. Like, bro, sometimes you just got to do things for yourself. You know, like a lot of times I was looking for somebody to do this for me, do that for me. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and then, you know, you're wasting time or you're wasting, you're wasting effort or money or whatever the case is when you could have just did it yourself, you know, and, and learned in the process. True. So, you know, I never really looked for no handouts, bro. You know what I mean? I just took initiative. I didn't expect the handout. People have helped me along my journey for sure. I'm not going to be like, y'all did everything solo, dolo. That's, that's ignorant. But like, you know, I've had to do a lot of things that I didn't get paid for. I had to do a lot of things I got zero recognition for. I had to stay up along late nights, wake up early, just like you, bro. You've had to take, you've had to do so many things that people don't even know about. And, you know, and, and a lot of these things are intangible, like it's making mental adjustments, you know, changing your habits. A lot. Of, it's, it's been a process, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of personal development. It's a day by day. It's reprogramming your brain. It's reading. It's, it's, is changing your diet. It's, it's a lot of different things, you know? So it's about, you know, recognizing what it's gonna take, you know, and then and attacking different things one by one or as much as you can, you know what I'm saying? Because bro, I'm far from where I'm gonna be, just like you, you know what I'm saying? You, you're barely, you're barely even in your, uh, 
in your prime where you can say that, you know, we still got so much more time, God willing. So it's like, man, I'm always a student, bro. I'm always learning, you know, and that's been another thing right there. It's just always trying to learn, always learning, learning, learning. I never wanted to cap my growth. And then where, I'm, where we're from, bro, the city, you know, Rochester, New York, you know, a lot of people, they get stuck there. They don't, they don't even know about the, the world. Right. No. You know, so, I, I, yeah, bro, I just, I'm, I couldn't, like, nah, you know, I'm a prestige, you know, around the, the globe. And it, that, that was, that was what that was for me, man. It's been about more life, man, more life, you know, and I think, I, I believe that everybody should have the opportunity to at least go for their dreams, you know, and everybody does, but the problem is not everybody, people think they don't have the opportunity, you know, people, people make excuses, man, you know, so that's another thing right there, you know, I just, I made zero, I couldn't make, I, I could have made a million excuses, bro. Right. I could have, you know what I'm saying? I could have been like, could have said this, did that. Uh, but nah, you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, you can't be making excuses. I, I didn't make any excuses, you know, you know, and that's been a, a big time, a big time factor here. It's like, man, either make it happen or you're going to make excuses. Very. That's it. No, I love it. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, Talk them through it. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to be closed off. I don't want to sit on the other end of this camera and, be, and giving you short-ended replies and being like, you know what I mean? Nah, because I'm, I'm gonna tell you, like, bro, I'm gonna tell these people too. Like, that's part of my purpose right now, man. You know, like, hopefully, they, hopefully they're picking up what I'm putting down right now, bro. Because if if, oh, if if I could just change one person's life, I'm gonna be happy about that. Or if, if just one thing that I says say here could change the trajectory of somebody's life, then that's good. You know what I'm saying? That's really. Yeah, that's all I do it for. You know, I do that because, bro. I remember being at a time when I didn't know, bro. I didn't, I didn't know. It was like, you know, it's the process of enlightenment, and and it's still enlightenment. There's still so much I don't know. I mean, that's 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 beyond. That's beyond me. I love to think about the things I don't know. That's amazing. So, what I'm saying here is, there was a time when I didn't even know that I didn't know. You know, and it's like. What, what's worse, not knowing or not knowing that you don't know? Like there's like this there's different levels of cognitive, like thinking about thinking, you know? So the point I'm making here is, man, if I can just change the paradigm of somebody's life just by saying something, just by using words, that's right. crazy. That's crazy. And that, this has happened for me time and time again, bro. Shout out to a lot of my mentors, some of the podcasts I just, I've listened to, some of the you know the documentaries or videos I've seen, man. Even some of the some of the songs, you know, certain things can be said that can all of a sudden just shift you or wake you up, and then your life can be different forever. So that's my intentions, you know. That's why, even though as much as I say I could be saying more, you know. So I'm, I'm I want to give you some 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 free game, some 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 scraps here, you know what I'm saying, to give the people because I, I can't hold it all, and I want to give it give it all out, but I want to give them, you know, something to think about. You know what I mean. All right, no, I feel you. No, no excuses, man. Like that's that's fire, bro. What other questions we got, man? Because you got some good, <laughs> questions, bro. You got some good questions. Straight fuego, man. You know, you got it. Right. We, we, we digging it because, like, yo, success is it's not is not easy. It's hard. It's, it's gonna, like you said, mentorship, constantly like learning. I mean, I yeah. got a couple notes here. You said you got to go for your dreams, more life, yeah. be a student and learn like be a student of the game continue to learn um you know being whole by yourself like that's 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 like very important bro like if you can't learn how to that's the same thing like if you can't learn how to love yourself before you get in a relationship how you gonna be able to take care of another person or like try to like you know be with that person for years if you can't like love yourself and understand yourself so same thing with business like understanding yourself and, and building out and growing you know with others but that's deep that's deep. So I got, I got two more questions for you. What's, when you okay, two questions. Right. In Cali, we'll go in Cali first. Your favorite restaurant in Cali, your favorite restaurant in Rochester, New York, your hometown. 
<laughs> yeah, no cap. The first restaurant I came to my mind was Wingstop. Uh, mm. no cap. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, man. I love fancy restaurants, man. All of a sudden, the Wingstop just came up in mind, man. Shout out to Wingstop. I'm gonna keep it real, man. Like, you can get money in all this. Ain't nothing like a fifteen dollar ten piece from Wingstop, bro. Like, exactly. Ooh, come now, on, what kind man. of sauce though? What, what kind of sauce, sir? Or... I'm, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with the. I'm gonna go with the lemon pepper. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to yeah, go with the pepper, And I'm going to go with the... Uh, I'm going to do the five and five, though. Keep it on it, because you know how they do it. They give you the two choices. So I'm going to go five lemon pepper, and I'm going to go five mango habanero. Oh, yeah. Mango habanero. Keep the fuego. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of good restaurants out here, though, man. You know? Um, yeah. I usually don't even say... I don't even do favorites, to be honest with you. You know, it's all the pains, but... Shout out to Wingstop, no cap. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, for real, for real. How about in the rock? If I had, a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm give you some, I'm gonna give you a bonus one, man. So my like a real restaurant though, that's not a franchise like that out here. That I'm not, bro. It's a lot, it's a lot. But I'm, I'm gonna say right now, it's the Capital Grill too. That I'm just gonna throw that out there. Capital Grill is in South Coast Plaza, man. If y'all like steak, valet service, and all that, pull up. Now Rochester, New York. Yeah, I'm, I'm I love I that to, place. I have to Oh, you been there too? Yeah, they got they, they do everything in portions, like the mm -hmm. steak, chicken, and then like the oh, side. Yeah, yep. yeah, like a five quart meal, just pull up. It's a lot of fire restaurants though, man. Um, Rochester, New York though. Ooh, shoot, bro. The garbage plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Everybody, the garbage plate. <laughs> yeah, nah. You know what came to mind though? I'm gonna be honest. Oh, man. I can't I see it. I gotta just go with the first one. You know what I'm saying? I just gotta go with it. I'm gonna go with Pudgies. If y'all know where Pudgies is. Pudgies. Does anybody know you know Pudgies is? Man, I don't think anybody on here go, because yeah, ain't nobody gonna really know Pudgies because you got some people from like France and stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, the local point, but they've been in business for years. They've been in business since the 80s, right? And it's just, I love their pizza, man. I love their pizza. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I like, uh, you know, I mean, bro, Rochester got some fire restaurants, but I'm just, because right, the way I grew up, man, you know, I grew up on, I, I grew up on those restaurants where it's like, my, we didn't go out to, to like, um, like, where I'm trying, I mean, we did, like, don't get me twisted, but it wasn't like, I wasn't living this affluent life where I was like, I was out at, um, I mean, I couldn't even name one. Del, Del Monaco was out in Rochester, you know, like it's a nice steakhouse out there. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know I mean? You got places on East Ave, like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I didn't even know Giants existed until I was like, you know, like these little shops and I didn't know, um, cause I was just young, you know, I was eating at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? I was eating, and then I was trying to, I was like, bro, I was trying to like make a, make like ten dollars you know last week because i was so i was stacking the way i was stacking my money bro at the time bro i just like, i didn't i didn't want to spend money bro and then i went to right. splurge page so i was like man everybody else was out here splurging on dumb shit and i was stacking up money in my safe you know what i mean um yeah so you know i was never really uh exposed to like man like i'm thinking about all the restaurants in rochester that i know about now Mm -hmm. you know I didn't even I didn't even have the time I didn't even really have I felt like I didn't have access to those you know what I'm saying because the people I was around weren't really going there um, same here you know what I'm saying same which here. is crazy to think about now bro you know what I'm saying it's kind of crazy to think of like you know what I mean so those that those the responses I give you are just based off of just the way I grew up you know what I'm saying that Pudges was one of my favorite places yeah. to go to no. you know <laughs> Nostalgic shit, you know what I mean? It's because it's like you gotta pay tributes. You got to. So last question. Yeah. Leave the that? crowd with a fire quote they that they can take with them for the rest of their lives. And he had to put the sunglasses on for it. I love it. Let me put mine on too. It's about to be fire. This probably be straight fire. So let's leave them with a fire quote. Oh, 
are you thinking of a good one, folks? Think of a good one. Shout out to everybody listening. Your head. That's my quote right there for you. It's Say all it in your head. <laughs> oh, you're muted. It's all in your head. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, your head. All in your head, man. Make you think about that because we're dealing with mental faculties. We're dealing with the imagination. We're don't forget because that's gonna be too deep for people. They're like, what does that even mean? It's all in your head. They're gonna brush that off. But yo, I mean, even 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 great people who said great people gonna they gonna test they're gonna test to this man it's all in your head you meaning it's all in your mind meaning it's all what you think about your inner world is gonna reflect the outer world i'm saying you want to change you got to change right. your mind you want to change your circumstances you got to change the way you see things it's all in your mind i'm saying if you got five senses that work good you got eyes a nose I'm saying, et cetera, off you go through the senses. If you're a healthy individual, man, with a, with a working brain, there's no reason for you not to hit your dreams and your goals. I'm saying you got to know how to use your mental. Exactly. It's all right here. You know, a lot of times people don't get to where they want because they just they cap themselves. They set their own self-limiting beliefs and all of that. So it's all in your head on some real, real, real small. So anything you look around besides what was made by Mother Nature, made by man, all in the mind. You know what I mean? So... It, it gets it gets weird like that but those are the facts you know what i'm saying so as much as you see on this earth man there's still more to be discovered there's still more to be invented there's still more to be created you know what i'm saying and, and god is working god is working right now so tap into the frequencies and use your fucking brain <laughs> yeah man use your brain no good words what right there for real. Yeah, man. And yeah, I'll say, I'll tell you what, too. A lot of people out here living through, like, they they vicariously living through other people's quotes. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they, they'll, they'll post somebody's quote. Like, man, make your own quotes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Live by your, live, live by your, by, you know, create your own legacy. You know what I'm saying? There's great things you can learn from the quotations and stuff like that. But it's like, be a leader, not a follower. You know, be the lender, not the exactly. borrower. You know what I'm saying? Be the head, not the tail. You know what I'm saying? And just, I'm just giving them value, bro. Because, man, I know that this That's is going to go up on the cloud. I don't see it. And it's, it's, it is where it is, man. You know, there's a lot of things I could tell them, you know. It's a lot of things I would tell you. But I'm saying, I would definitely say it's all in your head, man. You know, it's all in your head, you know. On top of that, bro, you got to follow your heart, bro. People got to follow their intuitions, man. Take your mind with True. you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Free game. I appreciate you. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. I know everybody listening definitely appreciates that. Like that's it that's does. real talk, bro. A lot of people aren't yeah, aren't uh, ready for it. A lot of people can't handle that type of mindset. Hey man, right now is a crazy time, bro. Like it's 2020 is off to a wild start, you know. And You see how people are acting, man. You see how people are reacting. You see, you see, the world is in a, it's in a volatile state right now. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, one of the key things for us to prevail through times like this is to stay level-headed. You know what I'm saying? So, that right there, man. You know, just ties into the keep. It's all in your head, man. Too many people are going. They, they losing their minds right now. You know what I'm right. saying? They're not, they're not they're not thinking rationally. You know, they're, they're they're letting fear guide them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, use, use the gift. You know, use the gift of EQ, IQ. You know, and people got to realize, man. Like, come on, man. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. We had slavery. We had the Great Depression. We had all types of illnesses in the past man we we gonna get through this you know what yeah, i'm saying just, just a phase just a phase dog just a phase yeah. man so Shit, that's man. it man. Oh, God, bro I appreciate, I appreciate that bro so hey we gotta we run yeah. out of time 
I'm gonna say I appreciate you. We'll make sure you know you get your we we'll get your IG, Facebook, all that stuff on here. Um, you know, anything else you want to say at the end? You want to shout anybody out? Shout your business out? Let's say you shout it. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, follow me on Instagram at Henry Aaron Westbrook. That's what's popping. You know, that's really where I'm at most of the time. We got a lot going on. If you need help on the social media side of things, we can help you out anywhere that Quentin and his company cannot. So together, I'm sure we can leverage your brand. Reach out to one of us, man. We'd be happy to help you guys out. You know, we got a lot going on as far as the investment world. We're doing trading. We're doing Forex. And man, it's just such a good time to get started on the internet. It's such a good time to start a business. It's such a good time to start building your network, you know? So reach out to me. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know what your goals are. You know, we offer consultations. We offer coaching. And at the end of the day, man, it's all peace and love over here. You know, I just want to see everybody do great things. And bro, shout out to you, man. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk on the podcast. No problem, man. Make sure y'all go follow this guy, man. He's doing great things, continually impacting the world, impacting others. Yeah, man. And I'm telling you guys, you're going to see us. You're going to see us, man. They're going to see us, man. It's like, you know what you made me do the other day, bro? You, you made me write down my list. I'm out to create a vision board. I got a new vision board on the way. You got a vision new board? <laughs> Get your vision board ready. Vision board. We're going to be doing a vision board check. We're gonna be doing vision board checks, man. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see where your vision takes you. You know what I'm saying? That's for five, one, two, three, four years, five years from now. We're gonna where check. We're gonna check the visions. We're gonna check. We're gonna check them out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, if you don't got a vision board, you probably don't got a vision. If you don't got a vision going on, it's on your head. If you don't see it, it's not gonna happen. Big mill. You want it, you gotta see it before it happens. <laughs> No, I feel you. No, that's true. That's true, bro. You gotta, you gotta keep that same mindset and like yeah. grow. You gotta grow. So, true growth, man. Nah, man, appreciate you. Today, bro.